Loose puck grab, say shot to save by. There was no building, there was nothing but a hay field with a bunch of steel in the middle of it. It is remarkable, really, what the right group of people can accomplish. We weren't going to be here for a year or three years. We wanted to be here for the next 20 years. Eagles coach Chris Stewart was there at the start. We had to weave our way into the web of the community. Is Riley Nelson able to get his body in front of it? And Riley Nelson, the pride of Cranbrook, British Columbia, was one of the first players he chose. It wasn't long ago where I was a young, a young buck around here, but you know, nine years later, I am. I am the old guy. Lost it. Ulansky drops it back. Nelson shot. I wouldn't be playing anymore if I didn't get the butterflies. It's hard work. It's it's my job, and I take it very seriously. Hockey's important to both these men, but it was never the only important thing from the team's inception. The idea was it'll be an amenity that we create for Northern Colorado and we continue to give back. And the Colorado Eagles and its foundation have made a commitment. In their first eight years of existence, the Colorado Eagles Foundation is giving more than a million dollars to charitable organizations. Now think about that. Even in today's dollars, that's a lot of giving back. Three, go! It began with Inspiration Playground an interactive place both for kids with disabilities and for all children. It's a special place for kids to go to, you know, take away all the, you know, all the worries they have just to be kids. It's not only the big things that we've done around the community, there's some small things we've done as well to help out the individuals that just have had some tough times. The team has a military night where they encourage season ticket holders to give their seats to the men and women of the armed forces. The players know what's going on. They're not ignorant to the fact that we're honoring the people that give us a chance to play the game that we love to play. Money raised from auctioning the game-worn jerseys has gone to several causes, like Veterans Plaza and Honor Flight Northern Colorado. To see our fans donate their tickets back to men and women in the military, to give them at least one night to get recognized. But the most recent and largest contribution made by the Eagles has been to the Poudre Valley Hospital Fund to expand the cancer center at their Harmony campus. This is the most advanced radiation treatment platform in the world, and it's a linear accelerator, so it creates focused beams of radiation. Donating to the Fitness and Rehabilitation Center freed up money to be used for this state-of-the-art CT scanner. This imaging device is really one of the biggest advances in radiation treatment over the last 10 years. The scanner should be operational by March, the Fitness and Rehab Center sometime next year. I think those of us in the cancer program are extremely grateful to the Eagles organization. In, into the high slot, loads. Riley Nelson, as the last surviving member from that inaugural team, he's proud. So that's one of the biggest accomplishments that I have, is I've dedicated uh, the better part of my career here to this team and this organization and, and the community. And it's great to leave a, a legacy behind. It's not only based on wins and losses. It's also based on people's lives that have been affected in a, a very positive manner.